one of the things that's true about me is uh, I laugh a lot, I giggle. Uh, and uh, it seems to be uh, partly an inherited trait. Some of my children and grandchildren have it, others don't have it. My mother before me had it, and I was embarrassed sometimes. I'd be at a friend's house and mothers would come to pick us up, and all the mothers waiting outside, and I could hear my mother's laugh from, uh, outstanding from all the laughs, and I thought, oh, my mother laughs so loud. But I'm happy about it, because uh, I think the ability to be startled by how funny life is, how silly it sometimes is, how ironic it is, how interesting it all is. It's a kind of an expression of delight, and it's a little infectious. His Holiness the Dalai Lama laughs a lot. I heard him being asked uh, if he ever got angry. And he said, of course, ah, which is his little laugh, and this is my little laugh. And uh, I think when people listen to His Holiness, I hope when people listen to me, it's the ability to laugh in a world that's really, uh, for, for in many ways, quite a startling life. And uh, to be able to say still, it's amazing. It's amazing and full of beautiful things and funny things and ironic things. The fact that we think about our lives. You know, I, had the, I was at the bedside of a friend of mine, someone I loved very, very much in the last days before she died, and she's been gone a while now. And I remember in the last days we talked whatever we could when she was awake. And at one point, uh, on her very last day of her life, she was talking about something, and as is true for people in the middle of dying, they sometimes forget where they are and they get all muddled up in their speech. And Martha was talking to me about something and she suddenly muddled up her speech. And then she caught herself muddling and she said, oh, you know, I've been confused. And I said, well, sweetheart, don't worry about it. Uh, that's perfectly okay, you're dying, that's what happens. And she said, I know, she said, but I'm afraid I'll be boring to you. And then she looked at me and it was so funny. She was dying. There are a lot of things to worry about when you're dying, but being boring is not necessarily one of them. And the two of us burst out laughing, and she died not so long after. And I was so glad to be able to remember her and our great friendship and our great love for each other. And that the fact, at the last minute, here we are human beings worrying about being boring. <laughs>